Now, I'm no expert on the treasury market. I won't pretend to be, but I've been reading some things that uh, I wanted to share with you because they could have some implications on real estate. And uh, I put the links in the description below from Yahoo Finance, Market Watch, and a uh, link up from uh, Mark Moss, a YouTuber. And basically they're talking about because of the situation we got ourselves in with uh, the debt ceiling that's no longer there, they've suspended it. Make sure you understand what they've done. They're saying, well, now we don't have a debt ceiling for two years. How convenient. We'll talk about it in 2025. So in the meantime, just go ahead and borrow as much money as you need. I mean, 32 trillion, what the heck. Well, we're in kind of a pickle now because we let the treasury checking account dwindle to a very precarious position. How do you fix that? Well, the government needs to borrow and quickly one trillion dollars they're starting on monday they're going to auction off 170 billion dollars in treasury bills at a rate of 5.25 percent now who's going to buy those well mutual funds retirement funds the banks won't because they get more in their reserves that they keep at the federal reserve so what's the problem well there might be a whole bunch of money starting to leave the banks. If people can get 5.25%, all these organizations are going to pull the money out of the banks, park it in treasury bills. That could get us into quite a credit squeeze. When you get in a credit squeeze, interest rates start going up rapidly. But wait, we've been looking at some charts that are showing that interest rates are going down. Well, they were, they are a little bit. Um, but this could change everything. But when you look out in the long term, if it gets really bad, and if this uh, raising this money again to put in the uh, federal's, Federal uh, Reserve's uh, checking account, not Federal Reserve's, but uh, Treasury's checking account, um, kind of throws the economy into a tailspin, well then, here comes the central bank to bail us out again. How are they going to bail us out? Another round of quantitative easing. What does that mean? Lower interest rates for you and me. What's that mean to housing? Here we go again. Not enough inventory, cheap money, wild rides. We don't want to see that. If we have a credit squeeze, well, that could lower the price of homes probably rapidly. I mean, if you can't get the money, you can't buy the home. That's what happened in 2008. 2008 was a collapse of the financial system. This is a squeeze. This is a squeeze because the federal government, who has been spending recklessly for decades and decades, needs the money more than you and me. So you and I, we don't get a chance to go out there and borrow the money that we want to expand our businesses and to build houses and to just conduct commerce. We need to give it to Uncle Sam so he can put it back in the checking account. Now, all parties are guilty of running up this debt. In the we haven't had this kind of debt since the 1940s, but in the 1940s, after we were exiting World War II, we were really the only ones that had a manufacturing base. Everybody's else, everybody else's plants were all blown up, so we helped rebuild the world. We were the manufacturer of the world, and so it was easy for us to get our economy humming again and pay down that debt. But the debt on a percentage basis is higher now than it was in the 1940s. We're 129% of GDP. Something's going to explode, my friends. Something's going to, this is, uh, I just don't see this ending smoothly. Now, we could muddle along like this for the next five to ten years, maybe. I don't know. But I'm reading about what this treasury auction means coming up and uh, what it could do to put a squeeze on banks. Uh, Chase, Chase Morgan was writing about it again uh, yesterday, and they're kind of raising some red flags and saying, watch out, this could get uh, kind of sticky, and uh, small regional banks are really going to feel the pinch. So, Treasury bills Monday, $170 billion. They want to have a pretty fast auction of Treasury bills throughout uh, the end of 2023 to fill up the Treasury's checking account and let's see how this goes. Like I say, looking forward to the interview with uh, Barry Habib. We're interviewing him on the 19th. And that's certainly a question I'm going to raise probably right off the bat. Take care.